Good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to the channel, uh, Frugal Outdoors and myself, Dylan. I've just finished work uh, and I'm going straight, I'm going straight fishing. Uh, had a really good result of the weekend if you've watched it. Uh, I did end up winning and I had heaviest fish all in the last half hour. I hadn't caught a fish at all all evening and then managed to pull it out of the bag at the end. So I was super, super chuffed. Uh, but yeah, something a little bit different tonight. I could go really, really horribly wrong and more than likely will. But uh, I have not come out with any bait tonight. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the foreshore. I finished work at four o'clock. It's half past four now. Uh, I'm in Benbridge and I'm looking for shellfish and I've got a fork in the hope that I can try and dig some worms. If I don't dig worms, I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> Apparently there's worms around here, even if it's just a couple of lug. Uh, I'm just going to have a little bit of a play, really. I'm after a flatfish, as you know. There are flatfish around here. I might be on the wrong side but of the, of the river. Basically, you can see the river there. So that's Benbridge. This is St. Helens. But I'm going to give it a go. So I've been going around. I'll show you the, the my bits of bait and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I've been going around. Uh, I've already bit, picked up a few bits and bobs. There's oysters here, there's clams here, and there are cockles. Uh, so hopefully, I'll take you along for the ride for a few minutes, see what I can gather. I'll have a little look at it at the end, and, uh, and hopefully I've got enough to go fishing, and we'll go from there. See you in a sec. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's pretty slim pickings at the moment. It's not brilliant, I've got to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna have a little go, see if I can find some worms while it's still light. There's loads of people walking all the way out there. I'm wondering if I'm in the wrong place. I'm gonna walk, I mean, I haven't even walked that way. I mean, I've walked a little bit around. I'm gonna walk down that way, I think, uh, towards the harbour. It's gonna be my best chance of finding some oysters, I think. Right, so I've got a little bit. I mean, there's some other guys coming later. They are bringing some bait, but my whole plan was to really try and use my own. Um, there's people way out there. Tide's still going out, so got plenty of time. There's some huge, I'll show you in a second. There's some huge worm, worm casts over there. So I'll, I'll stick, a, stick the fork in and see if I can't find one, I guess. So it wasn't completely potluck. Right, I think I've figured it out. Okay, so I've only got four worms so far. And you can see there, I've made a bit of a mess. I'm obviously back filling the holes. So, got really lucky first time. First, first fork in, pulled a clonker out didn't have quite the same success rates on the next one but so what I'm doing is I'm it's really easy to see the depression and where the where all the uh, the cast is coming up and then there's a depression right next to it so that's that's the U and the worm essentially is at the bottom so I'm digging alongside the entire thing so I can get deep enough and then I come in and take the whole U in one and then I've that I've did that three times and I've got three worms so it's a bit of effort but it means I've got some worm. <laughs> I'm stoked. 
So if nothing else, hopefully I can get, I don't know, 20 or 30 worms. At least I can get a couple of casts, do you know what I mean? But yeah, free bait. The boys are coming down, they are bringing some bait, so. If I got a pinch a little bit of bluey or squid, I think we're gonna be fishing over this. I don't know, I've only fished here once before. But I'd like to get up in that sort of channel there. And we may well end up go over the other side, I don't know. There's a couple of people fishing on the channel already, so I think, I mean, they're obviously after flounder. So, well, not obviously, could be after bass. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna bother fishing for bass, not until March. Right, I'm gonna keep digging, see if I can't get some more worm, and then I will bring you back at the end, see what we got. All right, so there we go. Not that bad. So that is basically a whole bunch of oysters, few cockles, and a, a few, um, uh, God, what are they called? <laughs> few cockle clams, there we go. And a few clams. Clams, oysters, and a few cockles. Not many, but enough. And in there, I've got a few little harbour rag, which I think they're called, the white rag, and maybe, I don't know, maybe 15, 15 or 20 pretty, actually, decent lug. So we'll give it a go and see what happens. Yeah, so as you can see, that wasn't too bad a little haul, to be honest. I started getting a little bit nervous. No rag, but we got some lug, so uh, the tide is still way, way out. Like I say, there was a couple of guys fishing down there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit, but yeah, I'm buzzing. Should be different anyway. Probably still blank, but here we go. All right, so we are, we're now fishing. Well, about to be fishing. I'm all set up. We've we've moved back already because the tide, the tide's coming in pretty quick. Uh, I haven't got a camera, proper camera set up yet. So I, I will endeavor to do it, but we are moving pretty rapid back uh, but we want to try and get a bait in the water while we can still get access to the, the boating channel uh, the, our thinking is it's the deeper water so hopefully there'll be something uh, but I'll quickly show you the rigs uh, and the bait that I managed to get so it's on on the hooks now and hopefully we can get into a fish we'll see okie dokie right so if you want to see look the water's right at the rod rest again already uh so as you are aware i am doing a species hunt as well which is partly why i wanted to come here um so on the bottom there so i can only basically what i'm saying is i can only use three hooks so i've got a broken broken lug there that's on a size two uh it is a, a portsmouth loop rig but i probably won't loop it i won't clip it i'll just lob it out there uh on the top one that is one of the oysters, a small one, it's all bound up. Uh, and then on the panel, because the panel counts as one hook uh, on that, so it screams a little bit. Uh, on the panel, um, pulley panel, I've got another oyster. Uh, it's on a 2-0, it's the smallest pulley panel that I've got to have as a single hook. So that's on a 2-0. Uh, you never know, might pick up, I don't know, might be a, a bass lurking around or something like that. I preferably would rather not get one because I can't keep it, but there we go. Uh, yeah, let's chuck these in and see if we can get a fish. Right, there we go. Finally managed to set the camera up. <laughs> We've been fishing for maybe an hour I haven't really looked to be honest. Uh, about an hour, we've moved right the way back. We're back on the bank now, but we've probably moved back, I don't know, 100, 100 yards, maybe probably more to be honest, 150 yards. Uh, Tom's had a little bit of a bit of a bite. I've had a little bit of a bite, but now we're here, it's a lot easier to just to shift stuff back up. So now I can set this up. So uh, the baits are going all right. There's definitely some crab activity. I've literally only had two casts on both rods, so. Hopefully, we can get a fish. Yeah, it's nice to be back here, though. Yeah, yeah, it's not safe. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like, oh, can we relax now a bit? Yeah, because it just comes in. I'll have to uh, look back at the footage on that one, because I just had a slack line. I don't know how long it's been slack for. Could have been ages. But when I reeled into it, I had to reel for ages to pick up the lead. And uh, nothing there, so I'm going to have to look back and check on the edit but potentially it's a good sign, or I've just fluffed it up somehow. So there we go, I'm just 
binding up. That's two two of those oysters. That is, they're a lot smaller here, but I have got probably about I don't know 15. So binding that up. That's going to go on the panel, on the pulley rig, and then uh, so just tie that in a knot. And then I'm just using the worm and the smaller shellfish on the two hook. Hopefully, like I say, entice another bite. I'm going to check check that left hand rod because I've just had a couple of definite bites but then it's just totally stopped. Uh, it seems to be the worm bait so I'm getting the little nibbles on so I've, I haven't got too many but I've got another few casts so hopefully. Well we're definitely a, uh, we're a good two hours in now and uh, no one's had a fish. We've had a couple of bites so it's quite promising. but. Um, yeah, we're slowly moving up the bank now, but it's a lot easier when we're up here. Like I say, we, we must have been moving like every, God, every five minutes, maybe. Uh, we've moved back like good 50 feet and then you turn around and the water's like literally right there. It's so flat out there. But we're probably only fishing in maybe two or three feet of water at the moment. Um, it's got plenty of tide left. We've got at least another four hours of push, I believe, something like that. Another three and a half, four hours. Uh, so by the time it comes up, we're going to be fishing in maybe two, three meters of water. So hopefully, we can pull something out. getting some really good rattles on the worm uh, and then it's just stopped again but this time I'm just going to leave it out there because when I pulled it in a minute ago after having some bites there was still some worm on there so I'm just going to leave it Yeah, I'm definitely adding a few knocks on that um, worm bait. It's just started to rain, which is a bit of a pain because obviously this camera is not waterproof at all. Uh, and I've got a, uh, I'm going to change, put a plain lead on because when the bites are coming, I want to sort of entice it just in case it is a flatfish. And of course, I've got grippers on there at the moment, which is probably not ideal really. Um, so yeah, Bill's just kindly lent me a plain lead. I'm going to chuck that on in a second when I change it. But again, three bites, three three knocks, and it's just it's totally stopped. Never mind. Ah, I've just had to sort of peel the plastic bag. It started raining again quite heavily. So I've got a plastic bag over the top. Actually, it seems to be working okay. Uh, but yeah, I just missed another bite. Gutted. Uh, I, when I was digging the worms, I found like three maddies, like the white ragworm. And I put that on the top hook, and something nailed it. Give me three rattles, I didn't even see it, and I, as I looked up, Bill saw it, and there was a slack line, so I reeled into it, of course. Should have just left it, or pulled it a tiny bit. Uh, hence, put for, for the reason that I put the plain lead on, and then, yeah, it's just, there's nothing there again. So I've had probably three or four bites, all on the worm, uh, but none of them have actually gone into a fish, but hopefully we'll keep plugging away. I've got a few, few baits left, and uh, yeah, <laughs> then it'll be end of session otherwise. Ah, well, <laughs> let's have a look, let's try and get the plastic, there we go. Uh, right, so we've moved one last time, uh, and I've probably got like five or six worms left, and I've maybe got one more lot of bait to go on the other, on the bigger bait, maybe two at push. So I'm going to quickly change it now, it's half past ten. Apart from that other bite with the, uh, with the Maddies, nothing again since. Bill's had nothing. Tom might have had a bite earlier, but yeah, it's been incredibly slow. It's such a shame as well, because it's nice. We've had a bit of rain, but it's, it's stopped again now. But it's just really nice. It's a nice evening. Uh, and it would have been so much nicer if we could have had a fish. Just one fish between the three of us would have been amazing. But there we go. 
Uh, it's worth having a go with all the different baits anyway. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to change these again now, and uh, and hopefully we can get one. I keep saying that. Hopefully we can get one. Right, that is basically everything that I've got left of the shellfish. So there's about three oysters there, maybe four cockles, a few clams, all bound together in one big sausage. Lucky last cast. <laughs> and then I've got a bunch of worm that I'll put on the other one, or the other two actually. There we go, and there it is, in all its glory. It's a beauty looking bait, I've got to be honest. Uh, like I said, I'm only using four ounce leads all night, which is really pleasant, but let's lob this out, and uh, we'll give this a 10, 15 minute soak. Ah, right, gonna bring this, bring this session to an end. Uh, yeah, slow, I mean, lovely, lovely evening. It's nice sitting down here with the water lapping and stuff. It's a stunning place to fish. I fished here once before uh, when we did Solent Wars and we did a lot better then. <laughs> we had got into some small, only smoothhound pups, but at least it was some fish. Uh, yeah, very difficult session. Uh, it's nice to forage and use all my own bait that I've picked up. I literally came with no bait. I've been very good. I haven't blagged any bait from Tom. I haven't blagged any bait from Bill. I've literally just used the oysters, the cockles, the clams. Uh, and those lug and those few maddies. And I've had bites on the worm, to be fair, so just didn't manage to hook into anything. Uh, yeah, so onwards and upwards. End of another blank, but there we go. Um, yeah, on to the next session. So until the next time, uh, stay safe, take care, and maybe see you out there. Cheers.